What a privilege it is to be in the house of the Lord today. What a privilege to be in the year of possibilities. Today is Thursday, 7th January, 2021. Our Father gives us the theme of the day, which is why you need to meditate on the Word of God. Why you need to meditate on the Word of God. Daddy gives us this theme coming from the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8, which says, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do accordingly to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Hallelujah. Daddy tells us that for a Christian, meditating on the word of God is not optional. It is something you have to do consistently. In the opening scripture, God told us the benefits of meditating on his word. He told us that when we meditate on his word, we shall be careful to do according to all that is written in it. And then we shall make our way prosperous and have success. Sadly, some Christians would rather meditate on the challenges they are facing, not realizing that it is only the word of God that can put them over those challenges. Daddy tells us that always meditate on the word and not your challenges. The challenges you face today, they are subject to change. In 2 Corinthians 4.18, the Bible says, So we do not focus on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. The word of God is the unseen reality. It is the only dependable and sure foundation in life. Keep your gaze on the word of God only. Refuse to be swayed or moved by circumstances. See the word of God prevailing in your life, putting you over challenges. The world is full of negative voices and forces. However, you have got to create your fruitful and productive life through the word. Create your victorious life by meditating on the word and speaking it forth over your life. Our Father gives us a meditation scriptures for today. From the book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 2, which says, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And you may prove that it is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Hallelujah. That it gives us Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 16, which says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Praise Him. Daddy gives us the prophetic declaration for the day. My dear brothers and sisters, let us lift our holy hands and declare this after me. I declare that I am a success and my future is settled and secured. I am in Christ, therefore. The lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a godly heritage. My path is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter. My life only turns upward and forward because God's word instructs me on what to speak and how to speak glory to god <laughs> glory to god let us think on this word let us speak in tongues o shatala ba kosita la ba kaya reketele ba sota la ba e mantele lelelele kosita la ba kaya repakatele ba sota la ba kaya we thank you daddy for your word we thank you for your word in jesus is mighty name Amen. Daddy gives us the one year Bible study plan for today, which is coming from the book of Genesis, chapter 12 and chapter 13, and the book of Matthew, chapter 6. Shalom.